what do you want to achieve? Do you want to be skinnier? Do you want to be richer? Pick one or two things because you're only going to be able to tackle so much at once. And then look at your schedule. One of the best things I've done is I realized I can reallocate hours in the day. I used to get up at 5 on my work days and then sleep in on the days I wasn't working. What I found over time was I didn't really sleep well on my days off. In fact, I usually felt kind of crappy trying to sleep in. So I switched to getting up at the same exact time every day, whether I work or not. I'm up by five. I know, on your day off, I'm asking a lot, right? I get up at five, whether I go to work or not. Then I have that same morning time. Well, what I found out by getting up at the same exact time is to start to normalize my schedule. So I go to bed at the same time, and I go, I'm an Y'all are going to say I'm an old guy, but I go to bed at about 8.30 or 9 every night. 9, 9.30 is pushing a late night for me. But I also get, at four, get up at 4 a.m. I get up at 4 a.m. because I have time to work on The Fallible Man and any other projects I need to get done while the rest of my family sleeps. That way, I'm not taking as much time away from my wife and children working on my business. I still get seven hours of sleep. It's also the time of morning when I can get up and go to the gym without interfering with anybody else's schedule. I get up and I do what I need to do. That way I don't take time from the people who are important to me. Goes back to episode one. If you caught episode one with foundations, right? God, family, country. Big on family bit for me. So, I don't want to take time from my wife and kids any more than I have to. So, I get up. I made my choice. I looked at my schedule. And I get up now. I used to get up at 5. Now, I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I get up at 4. I'm in bed by about 9. Whoa, yeah. Even on my days off, guys. On the days I don't go to work, I'm still up at 4 a.m. I'm right here in my office slash studio. And I am putting out more content for you guys. That's what I'm doing at 4 o'clock in the morning. I get my cup of coffee. Thank goodness for curds, right? Quick coffee. I grab my cup of coffee. I get in my office and I get after it. That's what I'm doing at 4 o'clock in the morning. But it didn't. I didn't just jump to that. I get there from, sorry, Jocko story. So I was looking at the Jocko podcast and started following him on social media. And I noticed that he was up at 4.30 every single day. And then I heard him in interviews talk about why he gets up at 4.30 every single day. And I thought, wow, that takes a lot of discipline and that's got to suck. Because let me tell you, 4 a.m. or 4.30 sucks no matter what time you go to bed. But I thought, you know what? I can do that. That's something I can do. I have control over. I can do. And I decided what my pillars were. Jump back to episode one if you missed that. I decided what my pillars were, what was important to me, and what I wanted to achieve. And so I started getting up at 4 a.m. What's happening, guys? My name is Brent, and I am The Fallible Man. This has been a clip from one of our podcasts. Hey, if you enjoyed the clip, go over to our YouTube channel and check out the full video podcast available exclusively on YouTube. And if you're more of an audio guy, hey, we our podcast is on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, TuneIn, and I think pretty much everywhere else you want to listen. Thanks for hanging out with us, and I hope you enjoyed the clip.